times there is a bright side Either the left side there is a right side Either the bad times you still hold up Hi, uh, my name is Keisha Thomas, um, but my stage name is Kaya, and I'm a Afro pop reggae singer and songwriter, amongst other things. <laughs> From small, um, my grandmother, my grandmother's girl, we she would always take me to the women's fellowship, and mind you, we used to go to church like every day. So I used to tag along, and when there was the choir, senior choir the young choir, everything, and I'm watching everybody sing, and so I said, you know, I could do this. I just keep practicing in church and what's not. That's what kind of like really bring that voice to life. Uh, when I moved to Barbados, I found that a lot of people made it a career in terms of singing at hotels, restaurants, and just various private gigs and I started to join in a band and we would you know sing different pageants and school concerts and what's not and but at that time I still didn't sure if I wanted to do anything professional and, uh, leading up to entering into a competition Richard Stout Teen Talent and after that competition then I said you know what maybe I should take this serious and I started doing vocal training. Well, the thing is, when you're now starting recording, it's really hard to find a genre that really suits you. So, we type, you know, we tend to dabble in different genres. So, my first genre, which was at this point in time, I really don't know what kind of genre it is. It's a mixture of um, Afro with pop and, you know, just, you know, R&B. So after that, I said, okay, I don't really just want to stick to one genre. I don't mind having fusions. So I was approached to do reggae music and then I liked reggae music. I think it's a good a genre for me, but I don't only want to be a reggae singer. So I always wanted to do something that, you know, people can dance to in the club and just feel my vibes and everything. So that's how come I kind of ventured into Afro pop. Currently I'm working on uh, quite a few music in that genre. Um, I have a song right now called Feel the Vibes, which is doing very well. And um, so, with that now, I'm able to say, well, okay, I can do, I could venture into more Afro pops. So um, that's just it. It's a really good song. It's a, it's a positive song. You can listen to it anywhere. It could give you a good feeling. And that's really what I wanted to accomplish. Abundant blessings for this boy. This oh, is all I see. All night, all day. It features Samini. He is also, um, he is one of the biggest dancehall and reggae um, singers in Ghana. Um, he, it was just like a, also a privilege for him to want to work with somebody <laughs> like, you know, coming from all of South America. And for me, one, one, I know that my music was good, but I think it was kind of interesting for him to see what we have to offer here in Guyana. So um, just, experiencing the whole thing from media tours to studio time to everything that we did in Ghana was just really a, a memorable moment that I think I would never forget. It was a really good for, I think, having a Guyanese there to experience what it really is in the outer world when it comes to music and how people do stuff, you know, in that, that side of the world. I just happened to find my hands within um, one of the biggest producers in the whole Africa. Um, we did stuff with Whis Whiskid, Burn a Boy, yes, amazing. And everybody that's a name within Ghana itself. I'm talking about Stone Boy, Chatawali, crazy. So it was really amazing for me to actually meet Pasaji. So <laughs> as intimidated as I was, he just very humble and calm. So we, I said to him when I get him, I said, we're gonna make a hit today. And he's like, yep, that's what I do. <laughs> I would definitely tell people, get a good team, work hard. There's no sleep in this business. If you want to make it 
to a different level. So stay positive. Yeah, I feel the heat. Chug it be so sweet.